in this session we are going to see how to transmit a data using uart using an arduino board using the uh, tinkercad circuit simulator right so if you are using a hardware arduino uno board this arduino uno board will be connected through usb to your computer and in the computer in arduino id itself you will be having something known as serial monitor in that serial monitor you will be able to see whatever data you are going to transmit from the arduino uno so in this experience what i am going to do is using the arduino uno i am going to transmit a data known as hello world and if you are having the real hardware that hello world will be able to see in the serial monitor of your arduino id so that corresponding simulation i am going to do it here so first of all you need to create a project in tinkercad or create a circuit in tinkercad how to create a circuit using tinkercad uh, is explained in another video which i have done i will be giving the link to that video in this video so you can if you are new to tinkercad first to go through that video how to uh, create a uh, uh, project or circuit in the tinkercad is explained there after that you can do this experiment so you can for modifying the code you can click on this code editor here by default led blinking program will be there that led blinking program i am going to modify so first of all you need to write the code for initializing the serial port right so that is what i am pasting here so serial dot begin 9600 means you are configuring the serial port or uart in this arduino uno with the 9600 board board rate board rate means number of bits transmitted or received per second so here when i am writing serial dot begin 9600 means i am configuring the uart present in this arduino with 9600 bits per second as board rate so whatever you are going to transmit or receive to or from the arduino will be in this board rate that is 9600 bits will be sent out or received by the uart peripheral present in this arduino uart peripheral is U, uart means universal asynchronous receiver transmitter that peripheral is used for serial communication in arduino board right so this is a configuration step again you need to do it only once that is why i am writing it in the setup part then in the loop part i need to write another statement so serial dot println println in bracket you are writing hello world so serial dot println hello world so what does this statement means you are going to transmit a hello world from the arduino board to the pc if you are having a laptop or pc and the real board your hello world will be transmitted from you are uh, from the arduino board to the pc but here you are going to simulate it so whatever data that is hello world you are transmitting from the arduino board will be seen here on this serial monitor here can you see the serial monitor here below the code so whatever so this program is used for transmitting hello world from this board to the serial monitor so actually how it is working means if you are having the hardware this hello world will be transmitted from this board through this usb and that data will be shown on the in the uh, say let us take this is arduino id here you can see the serial monitor inside the serial monitor you will be able to see that hello world if you are having the real hardware in this serial monitor you will be able to see so the hello world will be transmitted from arduino to the uh, you will be transmitting hello world from the arduino board to the pc and that can be shown in the scene in the serial monitor but now since i am not having the hardware i am going to transmit the serial hello world from this board and in this serial monitor i will be going to see that so my code is over then you can start the simulation after starting the simulation click on the serial monitor so now you can see hello world is getting displayed 
so serial dot print ln means n if you are using normal print the hello world will be printed in the same line itself since you are using ln ln stands for new line character so you will print hello world then you will uh, incorporate a hello world, uh, new line character right so that is how it is working so when you are using print ln after each hello world one new line character will be added that is why each hello world is printed in a new line right so this program by using this program we you are able to understand how you are going to transmit a data from the Arduino board to the pc right so instead of so here since we are not having the hardware instead of displaying the hello world in the pc serial monitor in the tinkercad serial monitor you are able to see this thank you